Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a Lexus LX 600 Premium, and I'm gonna explain in today's video why this is the LX to buy. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Lurch Miller Lexus here in Murray for giving me some time with this LX. I'll include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.4 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 409 horsepower and then 479 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So take a look at the hood, very boxy. You can see how it's raised there on either side. And then look at the headlight design too. I think that's really sharp. And then the grill here. Now you actually can get a package on the premium that blacks out the grill, but I think this looks really good with the silver, especially in contrast to the black on this particular LX. It has that luxury SUV appearance. Now around the side here, our tiny wheel setup is 265, 55, 20 in the front and over in the rear. You can see here with the wheels, you got the silver mixed with the metallic gray. Now you can fit an 18 inch wheel on the LX. For those of you that are off-road enthusiasts like me, that means you could get a little bit more sidewall there on the tire. And then you've got this big fender flares painted. You can see you've got the fixed side step here as well. And then you got more of that chrome trim around the windows. And then here's the side profile with the LX. I think this is one of the best angles on this SUV. Now, take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the opening here for the hatch, and then you got the Lexus logo on the back. And popping into the rear, first off, we have these controls to raise and lower the third row. Uh, now, with the third row raised up, I mean, you can see where the seat kind of ends. Um, it's not massive with the storage space behind the third row. So, basically, with the LX, uh, similar to like, you know, the Land Cruiser and the LX 570 of last generation, you either have the third row up or you have storage space is kind of the way to look at it. Uh, and then with the third row, it's actually pretty spacious back there when it's up. Anyways, when you're all done, just press that and that will lower the hatch right back down. Now I've got this cool light bar here on the back end with the LX and the new LX 600 badge. And you can see the parking sensors. And so putting it all together, again, I think with this premium package, it just has that sharp design on the exterior. It's good. Now popping inside, it is soft touch here at the top and then you can see down below with the trim Then I like the darker wood trim. I think that coloration looks really sharp. Speaking for the Mark Levinson sound system, this one has the upgraded one by the way. And then here are the seats perforated all down the center portion. Now the front seat is pushed back a little bit, um, but legroom back here I think it's fine. Got a little storage pocket. We've got our own climate zone here in the rear. Uh, we also have heated and ventilated seats for the rear passengers. And then headroom back here, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel again, soft touch trim here, and then you can see up above, blast partner with the mirrors, and then we've got our memory seat function. All of our window controls down below with our mirror adjustments, mirrors do power fold in. And here's the front seat, again, perforated trim all down the center, all of our adjustments here on the side. And then you got this for the 360 camera, steering wheel is power adjustable, and then again, more soft touch. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You can see soft touch trim all around. You've got paddle shifters on the back for the 10 speed. You have practical controls in the front like your adaptive cruise control, your lane keep assist, volume voice command controls, and then just your regular stocks here on the back. Digital gauge cluster in the center, which we can use to scroll through, see different bits of info on systems within the car. And then when you change uh, some of the drive modes, it changes the gauge cluster like the sport mode, makes it red and aggressive. It's pretty cool. 360 camera system, really good resolution. You can see trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel and then uh this is the top screen uh, with this so it's basically lexus's newer unit really easy to use got analog volume control there and then you have the bottom screen here which didn't mean to turn that on uh, anyways this controls stuff like the climate you can see the physical buttons here with the climate controls uh, but you can also see stuff with the drive mode uh, select for example and then you have even more controls down here so your drive mode select multi-terrain crawl control and then you do have your two-speed transfer case control there too We've got our heat and ventilated seats here, and you can see the heated steering wheel, and then kind of like the little storage area shifter there for the 10 speed. Some USBs on the other side, by the way. Then your parking brake, you can see auto hold here, center locking differential, stability control. And this one uh, does not have the adjustable suspension, which I think is the way to go. We'll talk about that more with the drive. And then you can see the wireless phone charging pad. And then this has the trick center console that opens up. Uh, it is a cool box with this nice trim on the top. And then you can see again with the dash, heads up display, 
But yeah, nice trim all across with this. Good storage in the glove box. Got a regular mirror, uh, regular sunroof, and then just a softer headliner. Sorry about the glare, but you guys can see 2024 premium. Now the base MSRP in the premium is 100,000 to 515 bucks. This one has a couple options like the upgrade sound system. 105,540 is the total MSRP on this particular one. And let's see how it drives. Well, let us set off in the LX600 Premium. So, I don't know what I'm gonna title this video, but what I do wanna say is this and then the base model LX, so just the LX, is as close as you can get to the Land Cruiser. Uh, and the reason that is, is a big part of that's the uh, suspension, not adjustable. Um, you know, you look at the 200 series Land Cruiser, I understand 300 series is the same thing as this overseas, but I'm talking about cars you can only get here in the US market because you can't get a 300 series here in the US market. Uh, but yeah, this, I mean, the 200 series Land Cruiser did not have adjustable suspension. And this interior, I, I just bought a 200 series Land Cruiser. This interior is very similar. It does have a more premium feel though. It's got nicer materials, but very similar setup to what you have in the 200 series. So the reason why I say that is if you like the idea of the 200 series, but you don't want to buy a used car or you think the 200 series are overvalued, this is your car. Um, you can buy brand new with the premium package. So first off, ride quality is really good. So with the F-Sport that is very popular with this new LX, they firm up the suspension that to make it sportier, which means that it's not as comfortable. And the F-Sport also has the kind of more like bucket type seats. Again, cool looking, not as comfortable. They are comfortable for what they are, but not as comfortable as these seats, I would say. And then yeah, the ride quality is so good. The other thing with this is it doesn't have the limited slip that the F-Sport has. But, you know, I think for what most people use these for, not really all that necessary. Still have a great four-wheel drive system. Still have center locking differentials. So, I mean, that will... And crawl control. I mean, th those will take you places that... Well, this will take you places. But yeah, the suspension's really good. Now, it's not the same as the, you know, LX570 or the 200 Series Land Cruiser. Those are more floaty. They've definitely firmed up the damping with this LX. So just kind of understand that, but it's not un it's not uncomfortable. It's just, I would say it has better body control compared to the 200 series Land Cruiser, which again, a lot of people like that. They want something that they feel like they can control the vehicle and they go over bumps and everything rather than it being all over the place, which I actually kind of like the all over the place to be honest, but that's just me. And going over the train tracks. Yeah, the damping's really good on this. And this still has 20s. If you did smaller wheels, it'd be even better. <laughs> yeah, this new Turbo V6, it's got really good torque. It makes the LX feel pretty dang quick. Like, it's impressive. I'm gonna just pop it back into the normal mode. But yeah, this drives really well. So, pulling everything together. Again, this is as close as you can get to a new Land Cruiser in the US market. Again, if you get an F Sport or if you get, you know, the Luxury, the higher end packages on this, it's not going to be as much like a Land Cruiser because of that adjustable suspension. And I just worry, again, I worry about the long-term reliability with that. And it's more money too, right? It's a more expensive vehicle. Just have to kind of do smaller wheels in this. Now, I've seen a lot of people comment with the new GX550 how that's basically the same thing as the LX, but it's a lot less money. And, you know, I still got to test one out. But from what I see, it looks like it's not going to have as nice of materials as this and so that's part of you know where you're going to be saving on cost which a lot of you might not care about that uh, and then it is a slightly smaller vehicle it's not that much smaller but it is slightly smaller than this and uh, then the other part the whole screen setup like i like physical buttons and this has this has physical buttons which is nice but yeah i'll, I'll have to see kind of how that one actually feels but with the lx 600 it feels like a more modern Land Cruiser. So let me know what you guys think about that, but I think that this premium package is the LX to get because it's not, I mean, still $100,000, but it's more affordable. And this would be the one to, you know, if you were actually to build one out, this would be the one to build out, I think, as a premium, not an F-Sport and not, you know, definitely not a luxury. Those are expensive.